Altair Flex Motor is a powerful tool to quickly design and analyze a variety of rotating machines. It offers a template-based system of defining your motors or generators with a variety of built-in customizations and analyses. Engineers designing inner or outer rotor permanent magnet machines, inner or outer rotor squirrel cage induction machines, or inner rotor reluctant synchronous machines can quickly transform data sheets into accurate simulations with the software's user-friendly and formulaic approach to model construction, eliminating the need for manual geometry creation. Upon opening Flux Motor, users can browse existing motor and part templates, examine the material catalog, adjust the default units, set up scripting, and of course, design their own machines. To demonstrate this, we will walk through designing and testing a squirrel cage induction machine. First, we need to define the high level details of the machine. This includes the topology and dimensions of the rotor and stator, such as diameters and number of slots and poles. We can also define a housing and shaft, but we will assume we have neither for this example. Next, we can specify more details about the rotor. Here we can choose from a variety of bar shapes based on the design and measurements available. We also have the option to define our rotor skew. To finish the rotor design, we define our end ring dimensional and impedance characteristics. Now we can define the stator piece by piece. Similar to the rotor bars, we choose our stator slot shape and dimensions. This is also where we define stator skew and lamination when applicable. To conclude the stator definitions, we now customize our winding. This includes a few stages, winding connection and topology, conductor shape, filling, and grouping, insulation measurements, and end winding parameters. If the appropriate model components are defined, such as a motor housing, shaft, or bearing, we also have the option to define external or internal cooling methods. Finally, we define our materials of our rotor, stator, and cooling fluid if present. These material definitions include electrical and physical parameters, as well as mass densities and costs, allowing accurate machine simulations and predictions for total weights and expenses. Now that the motor has been completely designed, we move to the Flux Motor Simulation and Testing Panel. Here we can see model characterization such as machine performance, individual losses, slip curves, efficiency, and more. Had we defined a housing and cooling, we could also examine the thermal behavior of the model. Additionally, the tests show the machine working point when driven by a sine wave. Based on the input voltage and frequency, we can examine the flux density information within the device. Lastly, we can compute the machine performance mapping with a sine wave driving the machine. Here, we have the option to view slip, torque, efficiency, and other model results. Finally, once we are satisfied with our design and initial testing, we have a variety of export options. We can export a report detailing all dimensions, parameters, and results. Or we can generate a script to allow another flux motor user 
to run this model on another machine. Using the advanced export options, we can take the design even further. We have the option of connecting the model to Altair HyperStudy, which would allow us to optimize the design based on custom constraints. Or we can export the model to Altair Flux for further customization and simulation. This example has shown just how quick and easy it is to use Altair Flux Motor to design, simulate, and analyze a range of electric machines. With the power of this software, engineers can rapidly move from schematics to in-depth analysis and production. Be sure to check back here for more content like this or reach out directly to us at trueinsight.io.